Shalom Aleichem. It's written in uh, the book of advice from Rabbi Nachman of Breslev that the main pleasure in the world to come is to thank Hashem and to praise Him, to know Him and to recognize Him. Now, I would usually say that like, okay, great, sounds amazing. Like, who doesn't want to know Hashem? But how is it pleasuring to know someone? How is it pleasuring to recognize someone? So the thing is that in the time of resurrection of the dead and in time of redemption and as well in the future to come, real world to come, life to come, we will enjoy certain qualities that we are unaware of today. Like think about how happy you are when you go on the roads and you see new views, new beautiful places, how exciting it is for you to see the sunrise, the sunset, to eat a very nice food, delicious food, something like talking to someone and to be inspired by him. Everything in the Torah, when you learn a new portion, another chidush Torah, words of Torah that renewed in your mind um, in a way that brings you to great elevation, to great understanding, how pleasuring it is for you to come to those huge understandings and to those beautiful moments of developing, of of, uh, of growth, of expanding your mind into those new places, to those new destinies of awareness, of joy, of satisfaction. So in the future to come, when the person will come to his completion, he will get to a certain place in levels of awareness that he will not be as limited as he is today. We will not be limited as we are today. And we will be set free from the main two limitations of this creation. That one of them is the place, physicality. And the second is the time, timeline. We will not be limited to our timeline. We will be able to be as time travelers. Be ready. And as well, we will be able to travel in place in what it is called in Hebrew, I'm translating Hebrew, space. I'm not talking of out, outer space on the sky between the stars. I'm talking about the space itself, the hollow space of creation. We will be able to travel in that free from the limitation of our bodies. Therefore, the person will be able to explore, to review, to see, to watch, to enjoy several things in the same time, so to speak. In the present time that is actually, even today, the only time that really exists. Because in the past, you experienced the past in the present time. You were there, here and now, but back then. Back then was the present time for you when you were there. Today, you're looking back and you say, yes, it was in the past. But when you were in the past, you were experiencing it as the present time. And the future as well does not exist because also in the future, you are about to experience it in the present time. So only the present time is the existing time that there is in the world. And we're just experiencing that. So in the future to come, we will experience all those experiences in real time.